Hey guys, how are you? This is a simple lesson in software development. Any experienced developer will tell you that complex software, complex systems, big systems are very hard to maintain, very hard to debug. They're very, very inefficient, uh, expensive to build. They are things that like complex systems are things you should avoid at all costs. If you have a lot of data to manage, a lot of, pro a lot of complex workflows you have to manage, that's what software does ultimately. What you should have is a few smaller, easy, easier to build, easy, easier to understand systems that communicate with each other in a common language. So in modern day development, that common means of communication are of course JSON objects. In the old days, we used to use a lot of XML. Now XML is more or less used to configure app servers, especially in the Java space. But for interop communication, you want to use JSON objects. You want to make sure that your different applications are relatively fine-grained in their architecture so that they're easier to maintain, easier to build. When you have layers and layers of complexity in a single piece of software, it becomes a nightmare to maintain, a, might, night, a, might, a nightmare to build. They become very inefficient. It's extremely problematic. This is one of those universal principles that are applicable in all aspects of life. So I first learned this, believe it or not, back when I used to import rare fish from all over the world. And so we used to have a set of tanks, uh, think of like a whole bunch of tanks interconnected through plumbing. And then we'd have centralized filtration systems. And we would build small uh, systems with six tanks, bigger systems with 20 tanks. Uh, occasionally we were stupid and we tried to build very complex systems that had several rows of tanks, four rows, four levels, uh, 15 across, and they became excessively difficult, exceedingly difficult rather, to, to build, to maintain. The plumbing would get clogged. We'd have difficulty maintaining a consistent pressure throughout the plumbing. Terrible. One of the oldest rules in engineering is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. So I learned from my experience building central filtration systems for the fish business that uh, when you build software, you better keep your software, again, simple. Have Better to have smaller systems that communicate with, with each other with a common uh, language. These days, uh, is JSON. Now, JSON is not a language. JSON, JSON is short for JavaScript Object Notation. It is written in JavaScript. It's just a very simple, lightweight, lightweight way to communicate, to move information from system A to B to C and so on. So, in passing, by the way, one of the problems that we have in the West, it's something that, that uh, Elon Musk pointed out. When you have New bureaucracies, new bureaucracies that come in every so often, every five years, you got a new government comes in, and what do they do? They create new, new laws, new rules, new laws, new laws, new regulations. And eventually, society gets so weighted down by the number of regulations and laws, it's almost impossible to get anything done. You got to get five permits if you want to uh, paint your wall white at some point. It's bad. So what you have, to, what the governments have to do, what we have to realize as a population, in uh, maturing, uh, uh, in maturing societies in the West, Europe, North America, and so on, we have to go in there with a scalpel. We have to start simplifying and breaking up these huge bureaucracies because it's they're very expensive to maintain. They're not efficient. They're rife with corruption, and software corruption is just bad code in, in uh, big business and government, something else. So, yeah, just one of those universal principles. Small systems, efficient systems that communicate with a common language 
will be far more productive, far easier to maintain, and everybody will be better off. So when you're designing your architectures, when you're writing your code, strive to keep the code simple. Strive to make it uh, as simple as possible, easy to understand. Noobs, beginners, will write complex code, well, intermediate level people, and they'll think they're fantastic. Look how complex my code is. Those people, I fire. You're gone, buddy, because, you know, uh, stroking yourself to make yourself feel good by writing very complex code that nobody will be able to understand is the worst thing you can have in a piece of software. All right, I'm Uncle Steph. If you uh, have any comments about this video or any questions you'd like to ask, put it in the comments below. Cheers, guys. Code long and profit. <laughs>